the urge for the new drives the world forward. New solutions for mobility, new solutions for manufacturing. For the European Joint Project Resolve, KTM e-Technologies has combined the advantages of cars and motorcycles in an electric vehicle and in order to continually develop the mobility solution of the future. KTM e-Technologies has also looked at the manufacturing of the future, but until now there have been a number of challenges in this area. If you take the uh, additive manufacturing process from the past five years, they are quite good, but all of them have their back steps if you want to have certain aspects of material properties. If uh, we're looking towards electromobility, we have to fulfill a certain standard of inflammability, also provide a non-brittleness and perhaps also uh, elastic properties of the part. And only that can be fulfilled with new materials which you can uh, use on a DLP machine as Generos 3D is providing. This opens up completely new possibilities. Seats with a modern lattice structure are much more comfortable for the driver because the back stays cool. Thanks to the particularly large print volume of the Genera G2F2 system, components of this size can be produced for the first time and even in series production. Because of Genera's automated process of printing and post-processing, the results are documented and repeatable. This makes additive manufacturing a key technology for KDM e-Technologies. In my opinion, without additive manufacturing, all the modern processes uh, for cars will take much longer. Because like now, we can use prototype parts already with the quality and with the standards which are asked for the further uh, serious production. 3D printing also enables the customization of components like these electric drivetrain parts which provide the right dielectric strength property. This is where Genera's wide range of material can help. Driven by the new is the credo of KTM e-Technologies. And Genera's new G2F2 system supports KDM in continuing to ambitiously implement this motto.